Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpig. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your daily technical analysis of foreign exchange markets. Euro dollar. A second bullish white soldier yesterday and a follow on to the previous session's immediate countering bullish harami. It was a new recent high with the third highest high and second highest close of 2023. Most importantly, it was a close, if only just, over the very significant 50% Fibonacci line of the January 2021 to September 22 move at 109.44. This 50% Fibonacci line had capped last week and the week before's rise as well as the January move higher. Now back in January, the market only managed to one close over it. It'll be interesting to see if the market can manage any more this time. Below, we still have the congestion made up from the combination of the flatlining short medium moving average, currently 107.44, the April 2020 low at 107 a quarter, and even the trend lines below from the old September to November 2022 ascending wedge pattern. Now looking top side, the next levels to watch out for are the flat July 2017 to November 2018 head and shoulders neckline, currently at 111.07. And the congestion from March 2020 uh, centered around the 111.39 area. So far today, a small steady piece of action seemingly trying to stabilize over that 50% Fibonacci line, a 109.44. Cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. A second bullish white soldier yesterday and a more than suitable follow on higher to the previous session's combined third countering key reversal up and bullish engulfing pattern. It was the highest high and high close since early June last year and spectacularly punched up through the congestion centered around 124 even that extends up to about 124 and a half. Above we now have target X1 at 125.90, the secondary and hard to reach target for the February to early March last year descending wedge pattern. Actually it's this year, what am I talking about? It's this year's uh, descending wedge pattern. All this move higher has been an immediate, initially modest, but now more significant follow on higher to the monthly key reversal up made in March. Looking below, we now have support around the congestion evident in the 124 area, obviously. It all depends now on whether the market can make some consecutive closes over this 124 air, uh, zone uh, over the next few sessions. Now, further down, we have support at the 50% Fibonacci line in the June 2021 to September 22 move at 123.16, with the June 2020 low at 122.48 thereafter. Now, so far today, a small dip below 125, which is somewhat disconcerting given the strong move higher yesterday. It will be interesting, very interesting, very interesting to see where we close tonight. Euro Sterling. A third bearish black crow yesterday and a continued follow on lower to the recent bearish engulfing pattern. Prices closed under the flatlining medium moving average, currently 87.81, with the lowest low for nearly two weeks. The dip on the low was interesting as it breached the August 22 to date uptrend, currently at 87.50, reaching down to almost the April 21 high at 87.19 before pulling back up to close over the uptrend. Meanwhile, on top of the session's action was, well, that was capped by the flatlining medium moving average. The market still seems to be considering whether to stay in between the August 2022 to date uptrend below and the overhead recent downtrend, currently at 88.76. For clarity's sake, they are not forming a sideways triangle because, frankly, they are not good enough, not yet. But I'm also mindful of the overhead 50% Fibonacci line or the March 2020 to March 22 move at 88.51. Now, so far today, a reactionary move back up, such that we're just over the medium moving average and thus in the frame right now for a possible bullish engulfing pattern, though it is early as yet. US dollar against the Indian rupee, a second bearish black crow yesterday and a significant one. It was also a suitable follow on lower to the previous two session pattern of a bearish meeting lines pattern. Finally, and perhaps most important of all, it was a close below the optimized lower trend line in dark blue, currently 82.14, of the 2023 proposed ascending triangle pattern. It's early yet, 
But if this move is exploited, then it could be seismic. But it also brings up the specter of a possible force break lower as well. Below we now have the original August 2022 to date uptrend, currently at 8201. That prompted my drawing in part the ascending triangle in the first place. This is highlighted in bright red on my daily chart. For good order's sake, we still have above the upper tine, currently at 82.74, highlighted in dark green on my daily chart, of the October 22 to early January this year bearish shift pitchfork, and the upper trend line, currently 82.97, of the sideways triangle in dark blue. This sideways triangle is the current dominant pattern here, but we seem to be coming to a cusp on this one. So far today, another significant move lower, the top capped by the very slowly rising medium moving average, currently 82.20. But importantly, we have seen the market push down through the August 22 today uptrend and in the process set up the conditions for this week to become a possible weekly key reversal. Thus, if we close this week either over 82.34 or under 82.16, then we'd be on. Anything in between would be an outside week. Right now, we are very much looking at a weekly key reversal down with all the implications that may have for the ascending triangle pattern. US dollar against the Brazilian real. A reactory move higher yesterday, but it still ended up as an indecisive spinning top on the day to complement the previous session's indecisive doji cross. The market again dipped below the 61.8% Fibonacci line at 505.73 and over the 38.2% Fibonacci line at 507.39 up almost as far as the interesting 38.2% Fibonacci on the June 2019 to May 2020 move at 510.87. But in the end, the market closed between the Fibonacci lines at 505.73 and 507.39. Prices continue to be approximately midway between the upper time, currently at 518.99, and the middle time below, currently at 495.98, of the broken late July to late September 2022 bearish shift pitchfork. This pitchfork is highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. Despite being broken, this pitchfork is still influential, though I'm minded to look more towards another pattern that was created by this very same pitchfork, and that is the November 2022 to date bear channel, currently at 488.66 to 538.22, which is highlighted in bright red on my daily chart. These were complementary to each other, with, as I had pointed out, one giving birth to the other. But I'm minded to think the bear channel is becoming the more dominant pattern here right now. But then over all of this is still the shadow of the monthly key reversal down made we saw in January. US dollar against the Mexican peso. A second bullish white soldier yesterday and a reasonable follow on higher to the previous session's reactionary outside day. There was also a bullish piercing line pattern. We are still well within the breached, arguably broken bear channel currently at 1785.63 to 19.0084, that has repaired itself and is highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. We're also still quite close to testing the lower bear channel line. Finally, we also still have two other significant features on my daily chart. Firstly, a close by, well, close by is the neckline currently at 1789.62 and highlighted in purple on my daily chart of the February to April 2021 head and shoulders top. This has acted as a latest roadblock in this market's journey south. Meanwhile, above, we have the neckline in bright green, currently at 1856.87, of the January to May 2021 head and shoulders top. This neckline had been important back in February, but it was getting tests when it was getting tested, but it has since diminished after the subsequent move lower. But it's still there and recently has had the declining short medium moving average, currently at 1850.10 as company. So far today, a small attempt higher, though it has been limited as we are still within yesterday's range and looking a little like an indecisive spinning top, maybe even a potentially a doji cross, but it's still early as yet. The market is seemingly trying to push up and out of the 1810 to 1793 and a half area created back in early March. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Topic and ADM Investor Services International Limited. 
and here comes the final important bit.